Hello, I'm Sally, I'm from Plush Folly and today I'm going to teach you how to make a range of cosmetics from home. Today I'm going to show you how to make a deep hair conditioner. The ingredients that I've selected include our oils. We have rice bran oil, which helps penetrate the hair shaft, making your hair lovely and soft, and jojoba oil, which is very similar to um, greasy hair, only we have more control over it to make our hair soft and shiny. We're also going to use oat protein, and although you could use regular tap water or bottled water, I've got some infused rosemary water here. Rosemary is an excellent tonic, for hair and it makes your hair stronger and shinier. And I'm going to team that up with some rosemary essential oil, which will also add a lovely aroma to our conditioner. Because we know that water and oils don't want to blend together, I need an extra ingredient called emulsifying wax, which will help combine the ingredients and turn them into a rich, deep conditioning cream. To make our conditioner, we need to warm the oils and we need to warm the water. So first of all, I'm going to weigh the water into our pot here. We need 80 grams of rosemary water. Eighty-three, that will do. And then in the other jug, I'm putting the oils and the wax. The jojoba oil is going to be the largest part of our conditioner after the water, so I'm using 20 grams of jojoba oil and then five or six grams of rice bran oil. Six grams. And our emulsifying wax goes in and I'm putting in 10 grams. That'll be enough to make sure that the water and the oil bind together and stay together. that onto the heat, allow the waters to warm up while the wax is melting. So I can see that our wax has melted and our waters are warmed through. So now we're just going to pour one into the other to get them blended. Now if I pour the melted wax and oils into my water and don't stir, then it will go wrong. And you can probably see that the two ingredients are trying to split out from each other. We've now got an oily layer at the top and a milky layer at the bottom. So you have to make sure that you give it a good stir for at least the next two minutes to make sure that the ingredients combine and hold. And while I'm stirring it, I'll be helping it to cool down, which will help it thicken up a little bit. I've been stirring this for about seven minutes. It's thickened up a little and it's the perfect consistency now for my conditioner. Although we used rosemary water, I'm going to boost the uh, power of the rosemary by adding a little rosemary essential oil. Rosemary will give my hair a good shine and just help make this an even better conditioner. Now this doesn't have any preservative in, so I would say that the shelf life for this is six to eight weeks if I keep it in a cool bathroom. But I know that I'll easily use that within six to eight weeks. And that's how you make a deep hair conditioner. <laughs>